I'm Al Phil Reese. I'm Anna Safford. And this is Mod Po Minute, actually five minutes. We're hoping to scratch the surface of a short poem that we like. So let's get started. So we're here on the third floor of the Kelly Writer's House, in my office, actually, I don't mind saying, and I'm here with Jessica Lowenthal. Back again. Hey, the director of the Writer's House, and one of my favorite people to talk uh, about poetry with. Okay, we're going to talk about Mina Loy's poem, The Song of the Nightingale is like the scent of syringa. Or do we say syringa? Do you know? Syringa. I don't know. Let's say syringa. I'll read the poem quickly, and we'll talk about it in five minutes. Nightingale singing... Gale of Nanking, sing, mystery, of Ming Dynasty, singing, in Ming, syringa, moringa, singer, song winged, sing, wind, syringa, ringer, song wing, sing long, syringa, lingerer. There's a lot of sound there. Have Could we this... heard her read it? Is there any? I don't think we have a recording of her. What's going on? Sound, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, we're mm -hmm. invited to experience this as yeah. sense. Right. Um, are you asking what's going on more? Yeah. Well, it's the Song of the Nightingale, which is a typical, like a conventional poetic topic, but it's, it doesn't seem like a conventional poem. Oh, no. Yeah, not at all. The words themselves seem to be singular, material, objects, one per line. Yeah. Um, so much rhyme. All those short eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do we we get we get a couple of historical references? We have the Nan King, and we have the Ming Dynasty. Yeah. Um, I guess we should say what a syringa is. Interesting, right? The syringa, I guess, is lilac plant, um, but it's, it smells. It, yeah. Scented. Yeah, and lilac, mm -hmm. and totally a po poetic sort of plant. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. lots of romantics, yeah. but syringa also that capital S syringa is the nymph that was running from Pan that was mm -hmm. made into a flute. Um, yeah. So and so this is a song. Yeah. This is a song that itself is named for the being that became a flute. Okay, and Nanking. Nanking um, side of. Uh, massive genocide um, by Japanese um, against against the Chinese in mm -hmm. 1937, which is sort of presage for World War II and the rise of fascism. So it's a big deal for her. Yes, um, as an anti-fascist. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but I think there's also a pretty clear um, direct gender violence reference. Um, there mm -hmm. were a, a lot of literal rapes in Nanking. Um, yes, the so-called rape of Nanking. Is yes. The phrase. Um, so if we're thinking in particular about the nightingale as, as a figure um, also from classical mythology, um, mm -hmm. that is a, a figure for um, the silencing, uh, the suppression of a voice after in a rape. In this case, um, the woman's voice, a female famous modernist woman poet singing how differently back to basics sound yeah elemental elemental um, elemental yeah. um it's vocalizing it's it's um but also i think calling calling through song a whole tradition of singing um it's a interesting yeah. poet yeah. as singer yeah but also as listener this word uh where did it go moringa yeah the ear Nice. Membrane. Um, oh, fantastic. <laughs> it's a great this poem. It's a really great poem. Okay, so let me try out a final idea on you. You can react. Okay. Okay. So the gale, G-A-L-E of Nanking. So that's a wind. Mm -hmm. So poetry, when you go way back to the basics, and this is a going back to the basics, poetry is the sound made by the lyre, L-Y-R-E, the harp that's set up in a window to capture the wind, the wind makes the sound, and that becomes the source of the song of the poet, right? So the harp becomes the muse. The gale of Nanking becomes the storm of the rape of fascists against the women of the conquered country. To me, the gale of Nanking is the strong wind that creates a poem 
that's going to be vocalized by a woman poet who's very sympathetic of, to the victims of a rape, and the song becomes that gale, the breath, the sound, the song. Mm -hmm. Quick response. What do you think? Does that make sense? It does. I think this is a poem about where to locate agency and how to claim it and yeah. how to share it. Uh, in pure sound. Yeah, in sound. Thank you. This was great. Yeah. Thanks this a lot. Fun. All right, good. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for ModPo, a free and open course at modpo.org.